Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you every shrine location in Rebella Wetland Skyview Tower. So the first one we're going to be looking at is the Toki Shrine. In order to get to the shrine, you need to enter this cave over here that's at Okul's Navel. So as long as you mark over here, you'll be able to find the cave. So when you make it to the cave, you just run in, take a right, and you can fly down. I run past the worm because I don't feel like dealing with it, and then you end up at a crystal. Now what you're going to want to do after the doors open is carry the crystal through and just dodge all the rocks that are jumping down at you. It's pretty easy, it's just a little bit of dodgeball that you're doing. And then you're going to drop the crystal and then pick it back up. And then the next room is going to have a giant boulder. So stay to the right side so you don't get smacked by it and you'll be good to go. And that's the entire shrine. Now we just go in and collect our rewards. The next shrine we're going to be looking at is the Joju Uu Shrine, which is going to be located at the bottom right of the map, southwest of the Rebella Wetlands Skyview Tower, and right next to Lake Floria and Ubata Point. If you want to mark right here, you'll be able to find it out in the open. So once you're in the shrine, you're going to want to cross that first bridge and then connect the next bridge to the tile across from you. After you connect that first bridge, you can cross it. And during the second bridge, you're going to want to grab the fourth tile from the end and then connect that one to the other tile so that you can use it as a bridge and jump on the next platform. Then after you cross this bridge, you're going to want to connect this block to this bridge right here. And then you're going to want to carry the bridge over the pole so that it hangs. And then you'll be able to cross this bridge. After that one, you got one more bridge to connect to the other tile so you can grab the chest. After you grab the chest, you can leave the shrine and that's it. The next shrine we're gonna be looking at is the Sifu Mim Shrine. This shrine is going to be located at the bottom right of the entire map in East Nakuda. And it's going to be out in the open right here near the Dunzo Plateau. And this is what the structure looks like if you wanna mark this and you'll be able to find it very, very easily. So once you're in the shrine, it's going to be a proving ground shrine where they take away all your armor and weapons. All you're going to want to do is take out this first guy, super easy. And then you're going to want to take his arrows and his bow and then swim to the ladder. So the easy thing about this shrine is that all you have to do is headshot the enemy with a bow and knock them into the water. They can't swim, so it automatically takes them out. So that's all you pretty much need to do. Just run around, shoot a bow and arrow, so headshot them. I end up falling right here, unfortunately, which is just annoying to get back up. And then I shoot the next guy. And the last one up top, you pretty much do the same thing. You just knock them into the water because they can't swim and they'll just die. Just like that. Easy peasy. And then you just collect your rewards and get out of the shrine. The next shrine we're looking at is the Bamatok Shrine, which is going to be located at the bottom right of the map. And in order to get to this shrine, you need to mark this cave right here. If you mark right here, you'll be able to find the cave super easily. You need to get to this cave in order to get to the shrine. So once you're in the cave, you're gonna to wanna to glide down. I end up jumping past the enemies and just gliding further deeper into the cave. And once you get here, just get to the platform and then you're going to want to swim across onto this wall and ascend upwards because it's a slippery cave so it's super hard to climb so if you can find somewhere to ascend to do it and then grab this chest right here because it's a royal shield that's level 55 and then you keep heading this way you can skip these two worms if you want or fight them up to you and you can get to the shrine that's all there is to it then you just go in and collect your rewards super easy The last shrine we're going to be looking at is the Marari Inn Shrine, which is going to be located at the bottom right corner of the map completely on an island by itself. But in order to do this shrine, there is a shrine quest that you need to do on the beach. And you have to accept a quest from this guy named Sasami, and he wants you to take out three monster tribes. Once you do that, you'll be able to go inside of a cave and then you'll be able to take out another set of monsters and then get to the shrine. 
Okay, so the first monster camp is going to be directly in front of Sasami. You're just going to want to climb up and start taking out all the enemies. They're not that hard to face. Um, the strongest guy is going to be up top all the way. And what I end up doing is I use my free shield so I can keep freezing them. And then I knock them off the platform, takes them out. And then I'll grab the bomb flowers and then I'll fly to the next camp. Then uh, this one is a little bit more annoying. Um, but uh, as long as you separate the enemies, it makes it easier to take them out. And then once you take them all out, you can just bow and arrow the rest of them. If you hit headshots, it'll probably be a one shot. Yeah, I was missing a lot, so I had to use more arrows. And then after I grab the chest, I'll go to the next spot and climb up this mountain. And the guy up top, I ended up using a bomb arrow because I just didn't want him to fall all the way down and me have to worry about him later. And then I use a bomb arrow on these three on the right because these guys are stronger than all the other enemies. And I wanted to keep them separate because I kept having trouble fighting these guys, they're annoying. But if you have something strong enough, you can pretty much take them all out. So after you take them all, there's going to be a chest with a boomerang inside of it. Then you're going to want to head to the back of the island and jump in the air and paraglide so you could jump into the cave onto this boat. This is where you're going to fight the strongest enemy. He's going to be a big hobgoblin. So I'll make sure you guys aren't strong enough to take him out. And then everybody else is pretty weak so you could just one shot them in the face. Then after I pick up all the stuff, you climb up to the top and then you connect two boards together and make a bridge. And then you climb across that bridge and you can grab all the rewards. And then you could just go straight into the shrine. Then you collect your last chest. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you at the next shrine.